All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started on let's get started on collision for our program. So first thing we're gonna need to do is drag another picture box onto our form, and we're gonna resize them to the same size as our player. And I did that backwards; it's 32 by 64. And we're just gonna make him. Why not? We're gonna rename him to pick NPC because he's just gonna be a little basic NPC. And we will. What are we gonna do with him? Pick him. Oh, we need to give him a bat color, and we'll just give him a nice red. Okay, go back to our code, and we're first going to need to pick NPC dot bring the front, so that way he's in the front. We can now see him, and we're gonna need a new function. So function test collision. By val, pick one as picture box. I want by val, pick two as picture box. This will be a boolean function. Sweet. Now, first we're going to this this test collision function is only just going to contain one if, but the if is really big. It contains four different statements. So you know it's really easy to just simplify it and put it in a code so that way when we call it it only does one if and that's just it's a lot more nicer it's a lot nicer I guess so now if pick one dot top is less than pick two dot bottom and pick one dot left is less than pick two Two dot right and pick one dot bottom. Bottom is greater than pick two dot top and pick one dot right. Right is greater than pick two dot left. Then return true. Else we're going to need to return false. And and if it's not true, and if you know, and the return true ends a function. So like, if it returns true, it won't go to this. But if it's not true, we're gonna have to return false. There was no collision. So we got that set up. So we're gonna scroll up here to uh, our key down. Now if um, test collision, pick player, comma pick NPC equals true, then we're going to have a message box pop up message but no we're going to what are we gonna do oh yeah this is what we'll do we're gonna do um we're gonna initialize two variables um dim dim prevx as integer equals pick player dot left and dim prev y as integer equals pick player pick player dot top so first we set up our previous X and Y's before we modify them and then we're gonna test our collision now if the collision was true pick pick player dot top equals prev Y pick player dot left equals prev X this basically says like hey if there's a collision just return it to its previous position that's how we're going to do a flick collision and that's all these two do is like hey if there's a collision return to our previous position now let's explain that test collision function we did and I don't have paint open but I will now so here we have two boxes our player and our NPC if the top if our, if our top right here is less than the NP, the other player's bottom, which is this this variable. If our left right here is less than their right, which is right here. If our right is greater than their left, and if our bottom is greater than their top, there was a collision. And I'll just abbreviate it, call collie collision in here. So. That means it was a collision. That's just the function explaining like what happened. So let's run this bad boy and pop him down here. And boom, you can see that we can't move through this block now. 
We try to approach it from any angle and it just it won't work. We can't move through them. That's because there was a collision and it's returning us to our previous position, which kind of makes it pseudo, you know, like, hey, it was actually like something solid here, but it's really not. It's just, you know, it's a really bad way of doing collision and we're going to fix this way later. We're going to make it so it's a lot more slick. We're going to improve on this later, but for right now, it works. And, you know, within this if in the code, you can put anything you want, like, um, if there was a collision, you can like make a label, change the text, like you're actually talking to someone. You can do whatever you want. It's it's just really cool. So I think this is really simple. This is a good way to get started. You got your collision down. We have tiles down. Like right now, we almost have enough to start working on actual gameplay elements, which is really cool. I think. So um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Yep, gonna stop recording.